Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to a new video and thank you for tuning in. So I'm at the Salt Lake City International Airport and I've got a treat of an episode for you today. So Ben, one of my best friends, AKA Shed Crazy. Most of you guys probably know him uh, by now, but he just got back from Alaska. He is doing the United Sheds of America tour over on his YouTube channel. He's trying to find and he's doing really, really dang good at it, but he's trying to find a shed antler in every single state, the 50 states. And uh, I think he's knocked out 19 with Alaska now, brought some moose paddles home and I'm excited to see him. I'm here to pick him up. Uh, we'll jump straight to rolling in and see how the heck he got these things from Alaska to here. Cause I'm not sure if he put them as a check bag or a carry on, but I know he's brought some giant moose paddles. So we're gonna show you guys. Let's give you a view of Utah. We got the Wasatch Mountains over here. That is to the east. This is facing south and it looks like we got some construction at the airport. It's kind of that time of the year. Man, road construction and everything is taken off really bad here. And then we've got the Ochre Mountains over this way. That's facing to the west. The Ochre Mountains still have some snow on it. And then out this way is the Great Salt Lake. Well, well, we have a horrible turn of events ah ben just texted me he's like hey i'm heading out alaska airlines lost my antlers so i'm sure he's super pissed i'm super bummed uh for him and bummed that i don't you know selfishly bummed that i don't get to see these things hopefully those puppies end up at bad claim or at you know whatever hopefully they end up in salt lake and get to utah and we can figure this out but I guess they don't have his antlers, so I'm sure he's going to be pissed. <laughs> We're going to film him anyways, though. <laughs> ben made a friend. Dude, where are the goods? I came for the goods. Alaska lost them, so thanks Alaska Airlines. They're, they're gone. Also, they managed to coat my bags in hair gel, all of them, from somebody else's bag, so they're killing it. Alaska Air. Shout out. Dude, what did they tell you? They're just like, oh, we don't know where they're at. They, they never got on the flight in Anchorage. They're like a check bag? Yeah. Packaged up together, yeah, like rolled up together? Yeah, wrapped me and Adam tied them all tight and... He tied them all up all perfect and then we got on the plane to get out of where he was at in the little flight they made it for sure to anchorage and then they never went anywhere else so they're still in anchorage so sad so sad dude. that was babies. so stoked but like the whole way here i just could feel it in my stomach like those things aren't gonna make it really that's yeah. like all they do alaska like ship antlers and meat and fish and yeah i had to change my ticket because i booked Instead of a 10 p.m., I booked a 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. oh. I think that's what screwed the whole thing up. Oh, that sucks. Well, we got Ben safely from the airport, so he's here safe. His truck's at my house, so we'll go over there and hang out for a second. <laughs> I'm bummed. <laughs> they just freaking hey, you got, you got something in there, huh? This is what we made at home with. Do they stink because they're soaking in mud? A lot of them are just in the water, but... What? <laughs> that's a small one too. Oh, that's, a tiny that's, a, that's a baby Alaskan moose, but that's like a sweet moose for around here. So this is the only brown that I found that wasn't from the plane. Had a dropper. I was just in a trail when I was out walking. Even the base. Look at that. Still got the wax ring and some hair. What's this, Jade? And then I have another one about this size that's wrapped up with my three big ones. What's that? She loves it. Yeah, that's Jeez. a cool looking shed dude they're so dense even that thing is so heavy <laughs> yeah go when i saw those ones i'm like mm. yeah like that that's a good shyrus moose yeah. like for around here you'd be like stoked so, yeah if i would have found that paddle in like wyoming where we were walking dude i'd be like oh, oh yeah we'd be losing our mind oh look some of my floats made it what are these so these are these uh japanese fishing floats so they use them to float the nets and they wash up on the shore in Alaska. And um, that's like from the early 1900s. Dang, glass? Mm -hmm. They would, what? some of them, they would make them out of. Uh, Are these along the rivers? Uh, on the ocean. 
Oh, okay. On the peninsula. So some of them, they would make them out of like sake bottles and stuff. Um, Just like recycle heat them bottles. And, yeah. There's all kinds of cool Dude, colors. Dude, that one's cool. Huh. Got a bunch of those in here. Interesting. So, yeah. It's pretty cool. A little man. spread from yeah. Alaska. Yeah. It was fun up there. Huge shout out to the Grandas. We had a great time and they freaking laid out the red carpet. Took crazy good care of me. All those guys. A trip or something. That's pretty cool. It was awesome. Well, sweet. When uh, we recover the other ones, hopefully I get a chance to see the big ones yeah maybe they'll call you and send, send me down there to pick them up i don't know yeah that's the hope if they can get here tonight i'll hang around till they do but if not i'm out what's that jared fast forward to 8 p.m and we're back at the airport with good news the original flight that ben was scheduled for which was gonna land at seven has his antlers so he went and got him i'm uh, rolling up to the curbside to pick him up so we're finally gonna be able to see these giants but he came to the house, took a nap. I'm sure he's tired from all the flying and traveling. And he got a call at like 7.20 that they arrived. So we're here, back at the airport, round two. And uh, he's right here on the curb. Got himself a cart. <laughs> Yo! Special delivery. 85 pounds of moose antlers. <laughs> Those things are massive. We'll get home and uh, unpackage those suckers. Oh, he probably needs help. Dude, you're dangerous, bro. I was trying to push buttons, but it wasn't working. Thank you. Gave you a roller cart? Yep, he even came down and got them for me. How good does that feel? Oh man, I was so worried about him. What do you think that package is worth? And to me, it's like, since it's answers I found and off a trip that like, who knows if I'll ever get to do again, like priceless, but you know, it's uh, at least 1500 bucks in poundage of antler, so. Dang, no wonder people stealing antlers these days. Like the best Christmas I ever. You get a burr on that thing. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> They call that a main beam? What do they call the first section? Uh, I just call it front corner. We call that a main beam. I mean, kind of, huh? Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad we made it here safe. I was just dreading it the whole day. Like, I've wanted big moose paddles since I was a little kid. <laughs> like you said, there's really no way to balance them. <laughs> that is so dense. Huge. <laughs> That's so big. Is that just like all brown? Yeah. Dang, the back sides are so dark. We found that one yesterday. I like the big fronts and then... No match? No, I was right there somewhere. for huh? a little bit, but... Um, that one has a super thick paddle on it too. Yeah, hold that up. Hold see what it looks like. Dang. Dude. What is that way? About a 30? 27 or 28? That's Let's see so on the I want to see if I can hold it. Get a little beaver shit. Yeah, in watch there. what it looks like next to you. Like as big as you. <laughs> Gosh, this is heavy. Wild, huh? Look at that. I like sucker. to have to really brace my core to hold this. <laughs> yeah, you can't just you can't just like hold them up like an elk set. You know, we get to just handle them and throw them up. Yeah. Oh, okay, take it back. You're good, you got it. <laughs> 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 yep. So that's a single. I decided to keep. I brought home one big set, and one big single. And this set's freaking sweet, I dude. What even is the mass <laughs> of that thing? She's probably like, what the hell? 
Yeah, so this is set like. There's no way to like hold them, huh? That one's just so unique and twisted up. Yeah, so oh, he's picked them up. So that one's 26.75 pounds. And I just love the Jeez. brown on the back of that thing. Look like how pretty that is. And the ridges and everything. My goodness. That one's even bigger. <laughs> this thing is like flat. Yeah, that's why I love this this set because it had like one classic looking big paddle and then one twisted weird one like everything I wanted. I had so I had some inner turmoil trying to decide what I was bring home. Huge shout to Adam because he basically let me rob a lot of poundage. <sighs> My heavens, dude. <laughs> what even is that? It's a book moose. <laughs> oh my gosh. We scored him at 224. Woo! The back, dude. Yeah, I want to see the brown. <laughs> what the heck? Here you go. Oh my gosh. What'd you hold down here? I, yeah, I held there. And then you put oh. <laughs> You're just like, how do I even hold these? <laughs> yeah, and then you got to tip the top of the paddles out. Yeah, like that. And then you hold them like eight inches apart. <laughs> Dude, what even are these? Woo. Those are cool, man. Heavy, huh? Babe, will you get some still photos? Okay, moving on to uh, West Valley Animal Shelter. This is pretty wild. So this is where Jade is from. Kate rescued Jade from um, this animal shelter. She, Kate was here yesterday and there's another dog that looks just like Jade. About the same age, same colors, same looks, a little different build on the body. But we're gonna put the two together because we think they might be siblings. And Kate bought a DNA test for this dog at the shelter to see if they are indeed sisters this other one has got more of a staffy build like short and stocky where jade's got more of the pit bull look like a little taller skinnier lengthier but their colors and their markings and even their body language they just look like they would be sitting so i'm gonna take the vlog in here and check it out That place is wild, man. There's so many dogs. Okay, this is the dog that we think could possibly be Jade's sibling. They call her Tiny. Yes, cute girl. Let me take this off, Jacob. <laughs> go run around, go get the sniffs. Yeah. Hey, hi. What do you think? <laughs> You're so short and stocky. Hey. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> she's strong. Here, take your she seems nice. Yeah, she's pretty good. Let me see. Okay, let me see the baby girl. Come here, honey. I know. Is that friend? Okay, you can come. Is that your friend? Oh, oh, good job. Good job. What are you doing, Jade? It's so fun. Yes. Good girl. Good 
Different, but their faces are so similar. Good girls. Good girls. Current situation. <laughs> are these two sisters? What do you guys think? Um, either way, we're taking her home to foster her for at least one night. It's Memorial Weekend. We didn't have any plans. This is the weather we're dealing with, so looks like we'll be dog sitting. I don't know what Jade thinks of that, but she's like, what the heck is this dog doing in here? Jade could use a buddy, but yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna take her home and hang out with her for a bit. You guys ready to go in here? Look at this. We're at PetSmart. Dog date. <laughs> we got two of you all right so most of you who follow me or have for a while you know i have an antler dog chew business it's called rack snacks i'm going to share a screenshot of the website and uh what we do is we do random acts of kindness so r-a-k rack snacks random acts of kindness and the last thing we did was for christmas we took a bunch of toys and food down to the animal shelter where we got jade and since then we've had a little over a hundred dollars that you guys have tipped on the website we're going to take some of that money to spoil the shelter puppy that could possibly be jade's sister so we're taking these two in pet smart it's going to be quite the chore because that dog's wild and she makes jade even more wild so let's see what we can do but if you guys want to support random acts of kindness these fun things we do with the puppies you can do that by simply buying an antler dog chew so I have all sizes, all shapes, everything you guys need for your dogs. Uh, the website is on the screen if you guys want to go check it out. There is a link in the description box. We're going to end this vlog with a little bit of uh, spoiling the puppy. But I just want to say thanks to you guys who have shopped with us. Uh, we appreciate it and it allows us to do this kind of stuff. Ruby. 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 Look, Ruby. Do you want Hey guys, end of the day, end of the vlog. We're checking out. It's uh, Saturday night and this is going up tomorrow. So I wanted to make sure it's edited and uploaded for Memorial Day weekend. So good night from these two. I'm not sure if Jade is really down with sharing all her stuff with this stranger. <laughs> but uh, I think she warmed up to her actually towards the end of the day. She started playing with her and at first... It's not like they were fighting or anything, but Jade was kind of like, what the heck is this? Mm -hmm. So anyways, wanted to say thanks for watching the video. We're going to hit the sack, go to bed. But if anybody's looking for a dog, if you're in Utah, please consider West Valley Animal Shelter. They're at like max capacity, probably 90 dogs or more. Mm -hmm. And if you're not around Utah looking for a dog, please consider adopting or rescuing. Uh, Jade's, Jade has been a really fun and good addition to the house and we think you guys will probably enjoy a dog if you're looking for one so anyways thanks for watching please subscribe and we'll see you on the next one